Hello friends, welcome to Winter Garden, Florida. Very close to my homestead is the New York Beer Project. I have never been here before. In fact, I didn't even know this whole complex of stuff exists. It's a pretty big strip of, of stores and restaurants and stuff. Didn't even know. I did know about this place existing and I've wanted to check it out for a while. It just opened up a few months back. Let's go try some beers. The bummer about time change is everything's you know, dark, too early. But it's nice and cool out here in the Florida, Florida land. Change the camera. It's very busy, it's very loud in here. I'm trying the black IPA. It, the cake kicks, so I only got half of here. That's good. A little peppery. I like that. But they don't have any other dark beers at all. Uh, they do have a winter warmer. That's typically a darker beer. But uh, a little spicy for me, usually. I might try that next with maybe a sample. But otherwise, they have a lot of IPAs, sours, and you know, standard beers. I think I saw Hefeweizen on there. They got some staple beers that they make all the time. And a big list of seasonals, too. You want to start a tap, sir? Try some samples of New England IPA. You know, I was prepared to not like that because I'm not a big fan of those New England IPAs anymore. I still don't really like it that much. It's a little too citrusy for me, but it is pretty smooth. And I could probably do a half of one. I'm just not a big fan of that one. Next one is the Winter Warmers. The other, they do have an amber, so there is three darker style of beers. This is a Winter Warmer. Let's see where it is. Not as spicy and crazy Christmassy as I thought it was going to be, but it's pretty mild. I, I could actually drink one of these. It's winter. I might do that. It's the back tap room. It is so big. There's so many people here still. It's about 8 o'clock at night. Well, I like the winter warmer. I like the IPA. I even tried another beer as the uh, Airhead Sour, it was really good for a sour, it wasn't over the top, but I decided on a full pour of the Amber, it's one of their staple beers. Okay, hey, that is pretty good, it's mild, a little mild, nice finish, it's a good drinking beer. Thank you. The hibernation. This is what I'll be doing after I have this beer and head home shortly. Uh, the winter warmer. It's good. As I said before when I tasted it, I do like this beer quite a bit. It's pretty mild. It's not offensive at all. It's not an offensive Christmas beer. Happy Christmas and stuff. Nice looking brew house here, and it's right next to the swag section. Well, it turns out that wasn't actually their full swag section, it's right here in the front of the restaurant. Got a lot of it. You can sell umbrellas, and sweatshirts, and t shirts, sunglasses. Stickers and coffee mugs. They have an upstairs too that they say is even bigger than the downstairs, but it's not ready to see yet. They have a space for weddings and special events and three extra bars upstairs. I'm trying to sample the Righteous Dude it's an IPA. I can tell by the smell. Ooh. Ooh. That is really nice. 
that's a smooth IPA. Seems like it might be a little heavy. It's not boozy, but I can tell it's probably a, a heavier beer. I was right, it's an Imperial IPA, 8.8%. Not too heavy, but it's there. They have a full food menu, and I've been watching all this food come out to the patrons here. It looks really good. Let's take a look at the menu. All right, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Give me the total bill. A lot of stuff on this menu. The New York Beer Project is scoring some major points. Their prices are pretty good. They're above average. Six dollars for a beer, six fifty for their seasonal beers. They got a full bar, so you can get any kind of liquor drink you want if you're into that. Their kitchen is making some really good food. Their staff is supreme. They every time they walk by, they're asking if I want something, if I need anything, stopping to have some conversation. They're really nice people working here. Very professional. The atmosphere is it's pretty nice. I don't know how pet friendly this is, but they're definitely family friendly. And everything's adding up here. This is a nice place. I have thoroughly enjoyed the New York Beer Project. I'm so glad I live so close to it too. They even have a photo op. The New York Beer Project is great. Their beers are superb. I really enjoy their beers. The staff, definitely a five on the staff. These guys are awesome in here. They're so attentive. Everything about this place is great. Stand by for my ratings. I highly recommend checking out the New York Beer Project if you are anywhere near the Walt Disney World parks or the Winter Garden part of Central Florida. I'm going to give them a four on their beer. Their staff, a five. The atmosphere, a four. The location, a four. And the price, they're above average on the price. I'm going to give them a four. I'm also going to give them two bonus points. One for having their own kitchen and another for being family friendly. That gives them a total of 23 points. Thanks for joining me today, friends, at the New York Beer Project in Winter Garden, Florida. I appreciate your company. I'll see you at the next brewery.